Hello, uh, I'm Lisa Smith, a Professor of Sociology and I teach here in the School of Social Sciences, Education and Social Work. Sociology is a really broad subject. Uh, it gives us all sorts of tools to think critically about the world, uh, why the world is the way it is, how has it come to be this way, why is it this way. Our students learn to think critically about the world around them using the tools that they pick up on the course. And so we look at the dynamics of power in the world. We look at how power uh, moves, uh, how it's connected to all sorts of forms of inequality. And so we think about things like market relations or the uh, lasting impact of colonialism or imperialism or even uh, patriarchy or gender relations. So we look at these in different contexts using the tools that we um, work with in sociology. And so we look at all sorts of big phenomena in the social world and we try to explain how, how has it come to this, how has this happened. Things like wars, the rise of the far right, growing inequalities, the rise of hate crime. And we also look at everyday life. So small things in society, patterns of interest, that people have, things that seem really trivial, but for sociologists are really revealing of all sorts of bigger th hidden things. So we're often not very aware of how power operates in our personal lives even, and even might shape our emotions, how we respond to things. We're not often very aware of why certain cultural trends emerge, why people like one form of music at one point in time, another form at a different point in time, and how the rise of social media has um, maybe changed how we relate to each other and how we feel about ourselves, the impact that has on our emotional life. So lots of big and small questions, they're all interconnected for sociologists. It gives you lots of options for where you might uh, focus your attention and what you might be interested in analysing. So in sociology, on a sociology degree, um, you put what you already know about social life tacitly. You, you know it tacitly just by being a social person. And we, we put it under the spotlight. So we give you some tools to do that with. The tools of social theory and social concepts and also evidence. So you cover a broad array of topics on the, on the degree. In first year then, we introduce you to sociology as if you've never studied it before. So we introduce you to all sorts of themes in sociology and ways of thinking like a sociologist. Um, and then in second year, uh, we start to upskill you a bit more. So uh, you do more dedicated work in how to do research, what we call research methods, and also uh, how to think kind of in theoretical ways about society. So how to use abstract ideas to explore the social world with your evidence. In second year and then into third year, you can follow your own interests more, say around uh, social identities or modern families, religion, and social change and we have an interesting module on protest and revolution which are more about you and your own uh, interests. You can study sociology on its own or you can combine it with other subjects like social policy or criminology or history or English um, or education studies and if you discover as a sociology student an interest in statistical analysis uh, you can also tailor your degree to reflect that. Um, so there's lots of options in the degree. You can follow your own interests as you go along. Our graduates will go into the private sector, uh, maybe into jobs like management, marketing, organizational type work in the public sector. So you might go into teaching or in research or in uh, advice, support sort of work, uh, welfare kind of work, work around the question of inequalities in the public sector. Uh, some of our graduates also go into research and to do that they might do further study with us. We have a master's in uh, research methods or a master's in sociology and global inequalities that um, students might take and then maybe even go on further to become sociologists themselves by doing doctoral research. If you're interested in applying to sociology and you want to find out more, keep an eye on our social media channels where we advertise our open days. So come along to our open days, we'd love to see you.